While progress was being made inside the European Union headquarters in Brussels, the mood outside was very different. Uh, protesting farmers lit fires in the streets of central Brussels uh, and clashed with police. The city also came to a standstill as farmers blocked roads with their tractors. They're angry about increasing costs and red tape and they want EU leaders to take action. Farmers out in force in Brussels. They've blockaded parts of the Belgian capital to demand more help with rising costs. We are trying to make people aware of the conditions for farmers. If we don't survive, people could go hungry. Police assembled near the EU headquarters, where fires blazed as the farmers gathered. We are right in the middle of the European Union quarter in Brussels, and these flames that you see are just an expression of some of the anger on these streets. But of course, not only anger filling this square, but also tractors. Traffic in the area ground to a halt, with more than a thousand tractors going nowhere. Agricultural subsidies already make up a significant slice of the EU budget, and the bloc is trying to make good on climate promises. But these farmers insist they're getting a raw deal with too much red tape. They're making us follow more and more rules. We are people who work with the earth, with nature. The people who manage this sit at desks. Unfortunately, they probably know nothing about nature. In response to Europe-wide protests, the EU has moved to temporarily relax some green farming rules and limit cheaper imports from Ukraine. To the former farmers that are outside, we see you and we hear you. And if your voice, you want your voice to be heard, make it heard also in June when you vote for the European Parliament elections. But this effort to cool tensions hasn't yet cleared the air. Well, that report from uh, Rosie Burchard in Brussels, she then sent us this update as police moved in to clear the protesters. So behind me here, police in riot gear trying to clear this square in the aftermath of these protests by farmers. There are several fires burning. Police have been using water cannon to try and put them out and also clearly to disperse people here. Now, uh, the farmers certainly left their mark here. Not only have they managed to leave the square in quite a mess and we see people trying to, to clear it up they've also managed to get their message across in terms of policy they have elicited a response for example from the european commission where the president who said that she will uh, brew up new plans to try and ease burdens on farmers and we've also heard from president emmanuel macron of france who said that he thinks europe's farming sector requires a profound change now while this protest may be wrapping up here in Brussels, what's clear is that this is likely to be a very big electoral issue in that building, which you probably can't even see behind me. It's the European Parliament. Elections are going to be held in June. I think mainstream parties are concerned that farmers may be keen to vote for the far right. That's why we've seen EU politicians going out in the streets in Brussels today to try and meet with the farmers who are now making their way out of this main part of Brussels. And as you can see, the cleanup operation continuing.